I went to Everest in 1996. Do you remember your first car? Well, mine was one of those little square Mazda 323 hatchbacks. She was a beauty. I sold her to go with my mates to climb Everest and attempt to stand on that lofty summit. Off we went. I stood at the base of this mountain and I thought, how on earth am I ever going to get to the top? We fought wind, snow, crevices, avalanches. This went on for six weeks. And eventually got just over halfway. I came back. I was probably the most disappointed guy on the planet. I'd failed. Today is a journey about effective decision-making, strategy, and planning. In 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary With Tenzing Norgay, the Sherpa, climbed Everest for the first time. 230 people in the last 62 years have died. One in eight people will die, and those stats are real. My job as an expedition leader and guide is to make sure that for my team and the people who trust in me and believe in me that I'm making effective decisions. Take your position, you're in business. If you make an ineffective decision, you might pay with your profit, or maybe you'll pay with your job. If I make an ineffective decision, we might pay with our lives. 10 years after 1996, I led a team and summited Everest on the 24th of May, 2006. I had come up with a formula, a strategy and plan on how to beat this beast. Four years later to the day, on the 24th of May 2010, I did it again with eight guys. And over that 14 year period, I've spent a total of about 35 minutes on top. My dream was realized not only once, but twice. Take this scenario, you've put a year of planning, it costs just under a million rand per person to climb Everest. We now in top camp on the north side of Everest, in the small little tent. We're going for the summit tomorrow. You step out of your tent at midnight, it's tunnel vision, you've got a head torch on, and this is all you can see. I've just been on the satellite phone to my wife, I'm in tears, I'm nervous. It takes half an hour to put your boots on, you're in this thick down suit, you're clipping onto the fixed lines, and in 18 hours, you potentially will return victorious. Two hours below the summit, lying in the path, is a climber who is dying. And he says to me, please help me. The guy in front of me from another team has just stepped over him and continued to the summit. I like to think that as a team, we've strategized. We've said, safety first. Nobody climbs alone. Everyone comes back alive and summit forth. I'm now faced with this scenario. We sat down before and said we had a whole lot of what-if factors. What if we were presented with this scenario? I'm now number seven on the tick list. What I did, I'll leave for you to find out. I'm Sean Disney. Join me on a journey as we climb Everest together and discuss things like leadership, risk, effective decision making, strategy, and planning. Thank you so much. <laughs>